So now we're going to test our uh, buzzer circuit and at the same time do a little science experiment with different materials. Really, the materials we've used are very, very important. Metals, for example, let electricity travel through them. And we know that the plastic on the wire, we call it insulation, that stops electricity from traveling. So the wire inside is made of metal and that's the conductor and the plastic on the outside is the insulator. Well, we could just pull together some very common materials, metal from scissors or plastic from the handles, wood from a pencil, a pencil rubber, a piece of paper, a paper fastener, an elastic band, a ruler made of plastic, and then we can try them in our circuit to find out if they let electricity travel through. What you might want to do is make a prediction. Which ones are going to allow the electricity to travel through, and if they do, sound the buzzer. Well I think most people would go for a metal straight away and there's a paper clip and of course we've used metal in the connections as it is. So if you take your piece of um, a piece of metal, a paper clip and touch it, now it can't just touch one, it's got to touch both. And that proves that our circuit works and that electricity must be travelling all the way through all of the wires and the buzzer from the battery and that we complete the circuit by bridging that little gap that we left before. Well, try these materials, you know, try carefully scissors and some other sensible, easy to get little samples of materials. Don't go pulling things apart, looking especially for something strange to touch onto your circuit tester. Just common things like the ones that I've shown you. Make a list of those which do conduct electricity and those which don't conduct electricity. The ones which do, we call the conductors. The ones which don't conduct, we call them the insulators. Fabulous.